Alright, what's going on everyone? So before Wilds of Eldraine released, I played Teamer Adventure, or Teamer Clover if you will. And I said, hey, look out for this deck, because this deck was one of the best decks in the format in Pioneer when the format first released. And it was one of the best decks for like a month or two, and then it fell out, but... I said, hey, look out for the stack. We have a new Eldraine set coming. We're going to get new adventures and it might be really good. And um, it, it, it wasn't. It didn't. It hasn't got it's it's no one. No one's playing it. it. No, no one played it. But today I just want to see how the new cards feel. So we have Edgewall Innkeeper, which if we cast a creature that has an adventure, we draw a card and we have Lucky Clover, which when we cast an adventure, we copy it. So we get to play these along with the absolutely broken adventure creatures, those being Brazen Borrower, Bone Crusher Giant, and Lovestruck Beast. This will make a 1-1, one, one, and then additional 1-1s one, for each clover. Then it's a 3-mana 5-5 five, five that we get to draw if we have this. So these are already really good, and then they get just amplified by these two cards. Same thing with this, it deals 2 damage, then gets copied for each clover. Then it's a 3-mana 4-3 four, three that shocks the opponent if they try to target it and of course we'll draw for each innkeeper we have this is two mana bounce a creature and we get to bounce multiples for each clover and then it's a three mana three one flash flying can only block flyers we also have this to get stuff out of our sideboard for four for best of one we can only get these for best of three we can get these and then we have this which for three mana searches for a basic land but the cool thing about it is it enters untapped so if we have like two lucky clovers we pay three for this we get three lands they enter untapped so it's kind of free so then we have the new cards first we have scalding viper which is another bounce spell it's basically brazen borrower but it is um sorcerer speed so there's that can technically bounce our own stuff if that's relevant and then when we play it it's a two mana two one that when the opponent casts a spell with mana value three or less deals one damage to them that's fine we have questing druid which the adventure exiles the top two cards and we can play them until end of turn and of course we can get four cards or six cards or whatever with this and then we have baluna and this is a replacement for escape to the wild so the idea with this card is you exile the top five you can play cards exile this way until end of turn and you can play additional land so this allowed the deck to just kind of absolutely pop off it would go crazy if we could get this down with baluna the uh seek thrills will mill seven cards then put all adventures milled this way into our hand so we don't get lands so it's not as crazy but the plus side is we get the creature which is a three mana four four trampler which is pretty good and our adventures our creatures cost one less so all of these cost two mana beanstalk giant costs six instead of seven so on and so forth so pretty cool upside maybe not as explosive as escape to the wilds but bear in mind if we have a lucky clover we mill 14 and get all the adventure creatures which is pretty crazy so um so it seems pretty cool but uh no one's playing it and today we're gonna find out why so on this channel you know sometimes i showcase tier one decks and you know, the expectation is, hey, this is a good deck. You can craft it, and it's good. Uh, that's not what we're doing today. We are just seeing what's going on with this deck. Um, seems okay. All right, play this tapped. Great. Nothing. We'll play Lucky Clover. So blue-white, could be blue-white control. We're pretty good at generating card advantage, so... That's fine. I am going to play another one of these. Alright. Deduce. Okay. Opponent plays a land and passes. Um, so probably we're just gonna pass and play stomp end of turn for six damage. If they tap out, I'll do it now. Um, they do, so I'll do red. Do this. Target you. Target you. Alright, and then we'll get a green land. And it's untapped, so I can, uh... I can use Brazen Borrower if they play a couple permanents. Land. My turn. That's pretty good. I mean, that gets us a ton of lands. I mean, this is exactly what I said. If they don't counter it, we get three uh, untapped lands so it's free basically 
We can run out of basics super quick. You will get a mountain for Bone Crusher Giant. You will get an island just because. And we'll get a forest. All right, that is a lot of lands. We'll play Bone Crusher Giant, get it countered. Yep. All right. We have six of lands now. We can play this, get like 50 cards. All right, well, that's also free. Actually, do I have three lands to get? I don't know, it might not be free. I have two. So not quite free, but close enough. All right, and we don't have a land for the last one. Decline. And now I'm just gonna play this. Even if they counter it, we get the two copies. So, give me all of those. Give me all of those. And give me all of those. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's working? Sure. I might be able to just kill them with Bone Crusher Giants, to be honest. Alright, so let's discard. You are not good in this matchup. Brazen Borrower is awkward. Scalding Viper is awkward. Brazen Borrower. And... I don't know, Scalding Viper, sure. All right, well, I'm literally just might kill them with Bone Crusher Giants, to be honest. I want to pay two life for this. I'm going to play this. I'm going to Bone Crusher Giant you. 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 Um... Let's play this. Yep, but they take a damage. If they cast one more spell, they're dead to Bone Crusher Giant. Because <laughs> it deals six. Memory Doll, you sure? I should have played this and got three one ones. Just in case that matters. It's not an instant. Tefiri sucks, but they're tapped out. They can tuck the Viper. So, if I had played Love Struck Beast, they'd be dead. As it is, I think I can play this. They can't target it. Um, let's also go ahead and make a bunch of 1-1s, one -one which I should have done last turn. I might also have sideboard stuff that can win here, but I'm not sure. I need to make sure I have 2 mana for Bone Crusher Giant. I'm just going to play a 3-3. Three -three. And I will pass. Yeah, so if I'd played the Heart's Desire, I could have attacked for two, then killed with Bone Crusher Giant. So that was a mistake. Supreme Verdict? Sure. Land. Alright, let's... Deal six. They can counter the first, not the copies. Land. So the best thing to do here. God, I wish I could see my sideboard. Let's just do this and see if we find another. What's my thing? Do I die to milling? There it is. I can do it in response. Right? Can I do it now? I can't do it now. Do I lose? Can I do it? Can I please just do it? I mean, it's not a card draw, right? So it's fine. That's my entire deck, though. So even if they counter the original, we have the copies. Oh my god. Well, that was pretty cool. Uh, that showed the power of Baluna, or whatever the name is. So, that worked. Nice. Yeah, Baluna is just crazy value. There's no way. Game 2, we get both the things. I mean, we didn't get Edgewall and Keeper last game, so... It's not like we're just absolutely swinging out. Uh-oh. Okay, Goblins. This is like the... Potentially the... Gruel, um, what's up a thing? Like Gruel Aggro, I, I, well, I forget that, not, not the Gruel Zoo deck. It might be just Goblins. Alright, just Goblins. I will take three. Um, so I have the choice, oh no, I don't have red. I have red here, okay. 
I, I think I go for value. The the smart thing to do, I think, is just play. Well, I have two. Well, I already played my. It doesn't matter. I could play this. It doesn't matter. I this I I should have. Yeah, I'm not playing well. I should have played this, killed the the horde master, then played Lucky Clover. I was trying to decide: is it good to just kill something now or go for the value? But since I have two Bone Crusher Giants, I should have just gone for the immediate kill of the Lord, and then, yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to do this, and we're going to do this. Nice. And then we're going to attack for one. The good news is this is a pretty casual deck, right? Tribal Goblins. It's not a meta tier one deck. I mean, it exists, but it's not a... Not a competitive deck, so we have a chance. We have a pretty good chance. I think I just play this. I, I mean, the, the Viper is pretty good against an aggro deck like this, but we'll draw. That's pretty good. Attack for one, because I'm not blocking with this. I mean, this feels pretty good so far. Sure. I will block if they attack no matter what. I will still block if they attack. No matter what. Yeah. I will trade. Alright. We will block. Go to 10. So... I can... Do this. Bounce both of these. Okay. I should have bounced that one first then. I think in response I can... Do 4 to this then in that case. Get our value out of it. Can they sacrifice? Yeah, they could sacrifice this to destroy it again. And it makes my Bone Crusher Giant fizzle. No, it doesn't. Because it. I can... No, it would. It would. Because I targeted that. Yeah. So both my things fizzle. I still get two damage on them. Um. Oh. I can decline. I will. So both those fizzled. The good news is they've got two cards. I can play this tapped. And, um, we're in okay position. I mean, we're at 10 life. That's really good, though. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lands. Sure. Lucky Clover. So, I think I do this. I play this. I'm going to get 2 lands. And I might just play... Do I have 2 blue? I do. Let's do this. And blue is fine. And then I just play this as a creature. Draw. Land. Play this on green. No attacks. Sure. Take a damage. Yep. Take a damage. Okay, that's not what I expected. Um, I definitely need to block. So I guess... Uh, do I just chump? Do I care about the draw? Let's just do this. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's a bit slow. Um, how much is this? This is all my mana. I think I just do this. Draw a card. Land. That's perfect. So now I can bounce two things. We don't want to bounce the ringleader and give them a bunch of free goblins. Can bounce that. Um, that kind of sucks, but okay. That can kill my innkeeper. Alright, so I play this. I bounce you and you. They can deal a what, two to me? Yep. Alright, so those are gone. Block this. Alright. Sure. Okay, so let's... Do this. I get 14 cards and a bunch of adventures. Okay, get all those. And get all of those. I mean, this card is really good. So probably just get blockers just in case. Uh, we still have three. 
I can play this land. And probably just play the 5-5. Five, five. Draw. That is so good. No attacks yet. Because I want to be able to block. But soon. Because we can bounce two creatures. We can burn two creatures. And we have Fae of Wishes. I, I need to look at my sideboard. To be honest. But uh, I feel pretty good. That sucks. Um, I don't feel good now. Because that's scary. If they have more of those. Sure. That's unfortunate, but I can bounce it. Oh no, I'm just dead. Because they sacrificed it. Dang, I, I I'm f was pretty close here. I mean, look how much value we got. I just didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, I took too much damage early. It's too bad. So we beat a tier 1 uh, control deck and then lost to goblins. So with two games, my initial impression is that this deck is very dirtily. We can do some crazy, like, super grindy value stuff. But we also need to just spend a lot of time setting up. Are we going second? We are. It is... What the heck is this? What is that? What are we doing here? I want to play this on green. Play this. Next turn. I'm not sure what we're doing next turn. I just play Scalding Viper as a creature to draw. Not that it's... it's or we could just play Questing Druid. The adventure is less great or less necessary. Oh, okay, so I've seen these decks. Sure. Um, the card draw is less necessary when we can... When we have this to draw. I think I'm going to play this as a creature. I don't want to bounce this and let them just replay it for more mill. No attacks. So if they attack, we just take four, potentially six. Yeah. No blocks. So how much is it? It's two mana. Oh, they don't do it though. All right, mill two. Yeah, it's a Tyvar, like one drop mill deck. Take a damage. Oh, Lurgoyf is cool. I like it. Innkeeper. So we're definitely bouncing the Lurgoyf. So I need blue for that. So probably play this on blue. Play this. And we'll bounce the Lurgoyf with Brazen Borrower. So once again, I'm illustrating how dirtily I am. I'm just not doing anything. I, I'll be doing some pretty crazy stuff if I can survive a couple turns. And that's my my feeling of the deck. Bounce this. I think I'm just going to trade one of the innkeepers for the 3-1. Does it trigger when it dies? Just when it enters? I'm not as concerned about the card advantage as I am about just surviving right now. Ooh, Souls of the Lost 2. I like this deck. And Fiend Artisan. Yeah, this is cool. I like it. So they took a damage because they played that again. This gives me a a chump blocker for the Lurgoyf. I think I'm just going to pay two for this. Make a 1-1 one, one chump blocker. Play this draw. It's another one. No attacks. So we'll chump the Lurgoyf with the 1-1 one, one this turn. They attack. We'll chump. Alright. Another one, but they take one. Sure. Land. So, how about we pay three, get a forest, pay two for you, just as a creature. Land. Then make a one one. No attacks. All right. I'm gonna throw the questing druid in front of one of these. Like so. We're drawing enough cards from the innkeeper that I'm kind of okay with this. Take a damage. Down to 12. Another one. Who has three of those? Come on, man. Alright, so... 
One, two, three, four, five. So if I play this, I don't have any mana to do anything. Um, let's play this. Get a land. Get a forest. Then play this draw. Should have drawn first, actually. Yep, definitely should have drawn first. All right. I think we lose again, though. We're just so dirtily, and we're not putting out enough power. Um, I mean, this game would be better if we had just drawn, like, any, any bounce. If I could just bounce, like, if I could play Lucky Clover next turn and bounce two of these, that would be pretty huge. Down to ten. So I have to throw my board at these to live. They can attack with everything. I have to block the lure waves. They're trying to figure it out. They were, I guess they didn't quite do it, but close. I don't know. I guess I see why this isn't being played. I just feel like I can't... I do some really powerful stuff, but also I'm just not doing anything. Um, for funsies... Let's see what we get here. It's all of our mana, right? We get two? Two, two mana? Um, this isn't good enough. And this isn't good enough. I mean, I can do... This. And this. But that doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, the deck is doing some crazy stuff, just slow, right? If you compare this to like Teamer Elementals, or not Teamer, the four color, the Omnath Elemental deck, right? If you compare it to Green Devotion, if you compare it to Grease Fang, it's doing like cool stuff, but like four turns after those decks are doing cool stuff, right? It's a bit slow. Like if we if we spend turn one playing an Innkeeper. Turn 2, playing a Lucky Clover. We're just dead to Parhelion against Grease Fang, right? If we play, like, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, a Bone Crusher Giant on turn 3 after playing Innkeeper and, uh, Lucky Clover, that's cool, but Omnath is, like, putting out, like, 40 power that turn, right? Green Devotion is set up on turn 4 to, like, play its entire deck. And I don't have, I do have red mana. And, uh, yeah, this deck is, like, it's doing cool stuff, just too slow. Too late in the game. For it to matter. I think if we played this. All my stuff is technically creatures. I think if we played this like. Like if we played. If we played this for like a month. We'd get a lot of good wins against tier 1 decks. But I think it's just. It's going to be too slow overall. At least that's what it seems like after a few games. Alright. Well there's a lucky clover that they could have gotten with their. Uh, with their thing. With their duress. So that's kind of funny. So next turn, it's probably best to uh, cast this, get two lands, which will let me cast these on their turn. Yeah, the lands from this entering untapped is incredible. That's why it's so good. If, if these entered tapped, I'd be less excited for this card, but... Okay, is this the, the Vampire's deck that won the Pro Tour? Could be. So probably get red and blue, so I have access to both of these. And we'll see what we want to do next turn. Yeah, I, I thought about playing it, but like, everyone played it, right? The Vampire's deck with Vayne Ripper that won the... That Seth Manfield won the Pro Tour with, yeah. Looks like it. The good news is... I can bounce Vein Ripper this turn, then kill Soren with Bone Crusher Giant. Um, no, Preacher of the Schism. I still think it's worth bounce. And they get the draw again. That's good for them. All right, and then I'm going to. Oh, right, because they, they minus. I don't have to do both of these. Well, I'll target that. And then I'll target them. So Brazen Borrower or Bone Crusher Giant. This deck has a lot of spot removal. So I'll play the Giant. At least they take two if they kill it. Which it looks like they might be. Preacher. Sure. Alright. Well, let's go to combat first. It does have Death Touch. But... I'm going to attack into it anyway. It's a nice little glitch. Interesting. So I have 
green, green. I don't have double. I do have double blue, but I don't have two green and double blue. That's unfortunate. So let's play innkeeper. Yeah, I wanted to play this, but I can't play this and brazen borrower. So let's just play play brazen borrower draw. And it's a tap land. Okay, we'll play this. Fatal push, fair enough. The card advantage of this is why it's so good, right? They traded one for one. They used their one removal spell on my one creature, but I, I drew a card from this. That's why this deck is like... I mean, it's really a mid-range deck, right? It's a... All these adventurers have two two spells, so you get two two effects. And then you double them and you draw and... You know, it's really grindy. It's really mid-rangey. Maybe I don't trade enough. Maybe I should just be more aggressively trading one for one because of how grindy and mid-rangey we are. Land. So what are we doing? I can bounce both their permanents, but I don't think it's very good. Um, Actually, no, I've decided that it is very good. We'll bounce. I mean, they are drawing from the Zealot over and over again, which isn't great. So I have four mana, so I think the correct thing to do is play the adventure and the creature. Sure, that doesn't do anything. Okay, so get two one ones. Play this draw. That's pretty cool. This enters tapped. Attack for one. Like, look how late the game has gone, and we haven't technically done too much. That's sort of the... the... feeling of this deck. Sure, draw. That's fine. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can either play Beanstalk Giant or the Adventure here. I, I think I can just save that. I think... well, that's pretty cool. The, the big creature is just going to die, like, immediately. I'm going to do this. It gives me four cards. That's a whole bunch of lands. Well, at least we got through them. So, let's play this. Draw a card. That's pretty cool. Let's play a land. Let's do... I, I don't know why that took so long. Two damage, get a counter, two damage. We still have two mana. I think I'm gonna wait and use the bounce. We have tempo now. Yeah, there's this weird lighting glitch. It's interesting. Um, we're on the offense, so just bouncing their blockers and attacking is good. I don't know if this deck is gonna be playing board sweepers. They're kind of creature heavy. Right, they're a vampire deck. So I'm guessing it's mostly going to be spot removal. I will say that the new cards have felt pretty good. Questing Druid just now felt good. This has been okay. It's like a brazen borrower, but the damage is relevant sometimes. And this has felt incredible. So overall, it's felt pretty okay. Fable, sure. So now I can bounce both of these and just attack. Okay, we'll I'll bounce two of those and just attack. Um, that's probably good, but I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do this. And then I'm going to just attack. They're tapped out. They have a blood... Alright, there we go. Nice. It, it, it does cool stuff sometimes. I think it's... Pre like, it seems to be really good... In slow matchups, right? Against blue white control, against Rakdos mid range, against any grindy control deck, this deck feels insane. And against aggro or tempo decks, it feels basically unplayable. I think that's probably the issue. Outrageous robbery. So, yeah, that's my uh, quick initial impression of this deck is if you're matched up against control, if you're matched up against mid range, it feels insane there's so much card advantage like it feels unstoppable but against like red aggro or uh, any kind of combo deck we just feel like the the most clunky deck i think that's probably the issue with this deck i assume 
from what we just saw that this deck has like an obscenely high win rate against control and mid-range decks because it's insane. But against aggro, it's like basically impossible to win, which probably makes it just not very fun to play, right? I don't think you'd want to go to like a big, big, like a pro tour tournament with this deck and be like, okay, I'm going to lose every time I'm against aggro, right? It's not the type of deck you want to be playing. And that's kind of how it feels. And so I can see why it hasn't been super popular, but it can do some pretty powerful stuff. So that is Teamer Clover. I don't know if this is like the perfect build. I, I kind of cobbled this together. Uh, my mana base, I literally just threw. I don't even know if I have the correct ratios of, of stuff. Um, but, you know, it, it's we were just testing this today and it felt very um, hit or miss. So that's Teamer Clover. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.